this video, we're going to continue our conversation on our schematic diagrams. And if you take a look now, we actually have a pictorial up that contains two disconnects. Now, let me tell you why this is important. For most of our air conditioning systems in residential and light commercial, until you get to the package unit stage, you're going to have an inside disconnect and an outside disconnect. There's going to be two sources of power. The only connection between the indoor and outdoor unit is some low voltage wiring, usually 18.4, 18.6 thermostat wiring. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with our line voltage side. Okay, and I'm going to start with the condenser. Basically, the condenser only goes, the condenser disconnect feeds the um, condenser contactor on the L1 side. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down and connect the two. Okay, and that's L1. Now I'm going to come down and connect L2. Unfortunately, I am going to have a jump in this wiring here because just crossing. So we're going to, I'm going to leave a little bit of a blank, come down, and we're going to go ahead and connect L2 in here by just doing. And I'm just going to neaten this up a little bit here. And then I'm going to put a jump real quick in here. Okay, just to show that those go together. Okay, so we have our inside unit line voltage connected. Now coming out of our compressor contactor, we're going to come down to um, our compressor and our condenser because they're both fed with um, line voltage. So I'm going to come L2 and L1, just connect those together because they're in parallel, loads in parallel, add amperage, don't, don't have a voltage drop with loads in parallel. So we're going to do that, just make sure you wire it in parallel. Then I'm going to come and I'm going to connect T1 okay to L1 and just for neatness sake I'm going to come across here and it really doesn't matter again you could because this is AC you could connect T1 to L2 but in this case I'm just going to go ahead and do it as labeled so I'm going to come out here And again, I'm going to have a little bit of a jump here. Nothing I can do about it. And we'll go ahead and draw in that jump. Okay. So if we look at now what I have for my line voltage side, okay, you will see that we have my line voltage side pretty much done, right? Okay. On the on the high voltage side. Let's just neaten this up, make sure we have my connection so we don't have any misses. Okay. Now we have our indoor unit because again, almost right down the center here is my split between my indoor and my outdoor unit. Okay, if we, t if we wanted to just say what my indoor and outdoor unit is, I could draw a line right down here. This is my indoor side on the left, outdoor side on the right. So let's go ahead and 
draw in my line voltage for my indoor unit. Actually, let's leave that separation green, change colors over here. Actually, okay. So I'm going to connect in my line voltage for my indoor unit. So I'm going to come into my transformer primary because that's my important junction point. Okay, so my transformer primary, and then I also have to come in to my indoor fan relay, pin number one. Okay, and I'm just going to take it there. Okay, then I'm going to come out of pin number three. Okay, and this is where I'm going to drop down and I'm going to connect my indoor fan in. And then my, I still have to come back to neutral, right? So I can come up here. And I'm just going to make a neutral wire coming around. Or L1, there's really not a neutral on this because it's line, it's 240 volts. So we're just going to do that. Straighten it out a little bit. Okay. So that is my line voltage side. Now let's talk about low voltage. Okay, because so far I've connected everything in line, but we still don't have the control voltage in to make any of this work. Now we're going to have a number of wire jumps in here, okay? And that's why when you look at a pictorial, you have to really follow the wiring, okay? So I'm going to come out of my 24 volt transformer secondary, okay, which is the low voltage side. And I'm going to change wire color to blue, but I'm going to go ahead and draw in my control voltage um, common first. Okay, so we know that when we have a relay coil, we have one side that has to go back to common. Okay, and that's what I'm going to do here. I am also going to draw in my common that is actually going to connect to the outdoor unit. Okay, because remember, I have to connect that common from my relay coil here in the compressor contact. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and connect that in. Now, that's my common. I have both relay coils connected in. Okay, so now what are we going to do with my transformer um, primary or secondary control voltage side? Well, we have to start off with the thermostat. I have to power the thermostat. So I'm going to come up here to R. And I'm going to power my thermostat because R gets my direct power from the transformer. Then I'm going to come out here from G, which is my um, indoor fan wiring. And I'm going to come out here Okay, and I'm going to wire in my indoor fan relay Okay, so now we have G that's going to power my that's going to provide power to my relay coil Okay, which is connected back to common. When the power is applied to the relay coil, it's going to close the one to three contact, energize my indoor fan motor. So we're doing good there. Now we have to deal with my yellow wire. 
okay, my Y terminal. Now Y is one of the wires that's gonna connect outside. So once again, I am gonna do a jump here. Because I wanna be very clear that my Y wire does not um, connect to R there. So I'm gonna provide a jump. Okay, and then I'm going to connect to my pressure switches because I have a low pressure and a high pressure switch combo. We need to connect to that. Now they go in series. This is not in parallel. So it's basically both switches have to be closed for my compressor contactor. To get power. Okay, but now I'm gonna just gonna get rid of that green Y, that green, just to make it easier to see. But let's look at the diagram now. Okay, we have two wires that connect the indoor and the outside. This is the Y and common. The only thing we are providing power to on the outside unit is this compressor contactor or condenser contactor or whatever you want to say. Okay, both high pressure and low pressure switch has to be closed for this to get ener to get energized. When this gets energized, it's going to close L1 to T1 and L2 to T2, and it's going to provide power to my compressor and condenser fan motor, which is in series. G terminal is run again in parallel with the Y terminal in the thermostat. When G gets energized, okay, it's going to come down and provide power to my indoor fan relay and uh, then again that is connected common indoor fan relay becomes powered we're going to close one to three and we're going to turn on the evaporator fan now that's a pictorial okay you really have a tough time when you're looking at this you have a tough time seeing the sequence of operation so what we need to do is we need to take this pictorial and turn it into a ladder diagram Okay, now this is actually going to be two ladder diagrams. Okay, one is my indoor side, the other is my outdoor side. The only thing that's connecting them is two wires, a common and a uh, um, low voltage control from the Y terminal on the thermostat. So let's take a look at how we have to set that up. Okay, it's going to be slightly different from the last one we did, which was this. Okay, however, the same components are here. So what we're going to do is we have, basically, I'm going to take and modify. Actually, no, I'm going to do it from scratch. So what we have is we have an outdoor unit. Okay, we're going to do the outdoor unit. We have an L1 and an L2. Okay, let's go ahead and draw those in so we don't make any mistakes. Okay, L1, L2. Okay, then we have just the control voltage coming in, okay, and we'll deal with that in a minute. We have some components we have to put in. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna grab those two components. Okay, so I wanna select, I'm gonna select my dual pressure switch, which is right here. I just want the dual pressure switch. I don't want any of the labeling. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna go back over to my diagram. I'm gonna put that dual pressure switch in because that is sort of important. Then I'm going to come back over and I'm going to copy my coil. Okay, and I'm going to Okay, so we have our control voltage side of my outside now because this is my CC. This is common.
from air handler and this is over here y from ah then i have a dps for dual pressure switch okay so that's my low voltage side so now let's go ahead and deal with my condenser and my compressor okay now we know my condenser and my compressor is not going to be just a shaded pole motor okay we're going to go with psc motor because that's most often what they have outside so we're going to go ahead and copy this and i'm going to use this twice Okay, because I have a condenser fan and I have a compressor. So let's label this CFM and we'll label this comp. Okay, now I also have this CC. Okay, we have to deal with that CC. So let's deal with the two compressor or the, the two um, contacts. So we want to want to put two contacts in here for my contactor. And I'm just going to put them on L1 and L2 because that's basically what we're doing. So let's come over here. I'm going to grab my normally open contactor, which actually works very well for what I need. I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to paste it in Now let's label it can't forget about my labels CC and CC okay that label has to match if I have a coil here that's controlling those contacts the label has to match okay so let's now just finish this out and draw in my two connect my two connections from there To there okay this is my outside unit so everything at this point is my outdoor unit okay now we still have we still have to deal with the inside unit remember we haven't done the thermostat side yet or the indoor fan relay side so indoors we again have an, a, a disconnect an evaporator disconnect okay so what we're going to do is we're going to start off, I want to draw in my, my line voltage side, and I'm going to keep it a little bit shorter this time. Okay, I want to draw my, I'm going to draw in my disconnect here. Okay, then I'm going to just come in and I'm going to label L2 and L1. I'm going to label just down here, I'm going to label just SS service switch. Okay, now I'm going to come up back over here to my schematics that I have pre drawn, and I'm going to come down and find this transformer. Why do I need the transformer? Because I have low voltage on my on my air handler. I got to put in a transformer. Okay, so I have low voltage here. Okay, so let's go ahead and I want to draw in. Oops, let's draw the line instead of the.
And again, I'm just a little bit of, I try to get lines on schematics as straight as possible. So we're gonna go ahead and just straighten those up. Okay, so now I have my transformer in here. So let's look at the picture, the pictorial of my indoor fan of my air handler, which is this left side. I have a transformer, I have a fan relay with a, that obviously has a coil. I have my thermostat. So I think the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and grab the thermostat and get it in here. Okay, so I need a thermostat. I need a thermostat with a G terminal. So let's go ahead and grab my thermostat with my G terminal. paste it in here, pull it down to where I want it, because that really, if we think about it, the thermostat is my main item we need. Okay, so let me go ahead and I'm going to wire in my R terminal. Okay. Now, coming out of my G, I have a fan relay. Coming out of my Y becomes very easy because what we're gonna say is, um, here we're just gonna come in. And we're gonna provide a connection point. Okay, and I'm just going to provide a little bu bullet point here. And then we're just going to say Y to outside, or to condenser. And over here, we're going to say common from condenser. Okay, because we have to show that that's going outside. So then we need a coil, okay? All I need is a coil to power my fan. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna grab my coil. Okay, so I'm gonna select my coil. I'm gonna come back over here, paste my coil in. connected on the common side um, let's undo that and give it what it's supposed to be it's supposed to be a line okay we're gonna say IFR for indoor fan relay now we still have our mode we still need to grab our fan motor right so let's come back over to my schematics symbols. Yeah, we'll give the we'll go ahead and do another PSC because most of our blower motors out there in the real world are PSC at this time. Okay, gonna come in here, PSC motor. Now what do I need to control the motor? I need a I need a relay contact, right? So I'm gonna come back over here. Okay, I need a normally open contact. So I'm gonna come here, grab that. I'm gonna put it back over here. I'm gonna rotate it 90 degree left. We'll make it a little bit bigger. 
Okay, I'm gonna mark it before I forget because it has to match the labeling of this. Okay, you have to match the labels. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and connect it into line. And I wanna label my in my indoor fan motor. Okay, so what we have here, and I do want to label this also 240 volts. So we basically have, we have two different schematics here. Okay, and again, if I wanted to come out down here and really make note of it, okay, everything there's a delineation line. Okay, my in my outdoor unit is up here. Okay, so this is all my outdoor unit. Could be labeled condenser. Okay, my indoor unit air handler is there. There's only two connection points between the entire thing, okay? We have the the only thing connecting the two on the electrical side are these low voltage wires. Okay? Y and C, which is right there. Everything else is independent of each other. So again, this is very important from a troubleshooting standpoint because we can see the sequence of operation. Okay, the pictorial is sometimes important from where the wires are running. It's more of a wiring diagram. But the ladder schematic tells us sequencing.